Luma AI have finally released Luma Dream Machine, and we can tell you straight up this latest AI video generator is here to rival the likes of Kling AI, Sora, and Runway Gen 3. In this Luma AI tutorial, we're gonna show you just why this free AI video generator is right up there with the very best. And later in the video, you really wanna stick around for a quick coaching session in prompt engineering. Without understanding how best to construct a prompt, you're literally wasting your time and the valuable free credits you get when you first log in. Trust us, we've spent weeks getting it wrong over and over again until we finally found the formula so later on, we'll share with you the only way to get the very best out of Luma Dream Machine and any other generative AI tool. Anyway, ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Let's get straight in. The interface is incredibly simple. No frills, no overcomplicated settings. So if you're new to AI generated video, you don't have to mess around with complex features like remapping tools. In fact, all you have to play with is the prompt box. What could be easier, right? Luma Lab's Dream Machine can handle text to video AI and image to video AI. The clips it generates are around five seconds long, which is pretty standard. But we do have a trick coming up a little later which can help you extend your shots to more like a minute. So let's start with image to video. First up, you're gonna wanna head over to Leonardo AI or any other AI image generator. We think Leonardo is pretty cool, so that's our go-to free AI image generator. Once you log in, from the left bar, hit image generation. Then under image dimensions, choose 16 by nine aspect ratio. You can also choose a preset style, and we'd suggest cinematics for this job. Then you're ready to enter your prompt. As an example, we're gonna type in an ultra HD cinematic nighttime scene where the camera is placed low to the ground looking up with Scarlett Johansson in a swimming pool with blue light and a pink neon lit background, hyper detailed, 4K, AR 16 by nine. Then hit generate. You'll get four options to choose from. Whichever floats your boat, hover over it and hit download. Save this seed image to your desktop. That's all you need from Leonardo AI. Now back to Dream Machine. Drag and drop your image into the prompt box and make sure the Enhanced Prompts box is ticked. Then you have two choices. Either click the arrow on the right and let Luma AI do its thing, or you can enter a prompt to accompany the image. Using our seed image, we'll just drop it in and let the magic happen. Just so you know, paid tiers get priority in the queue. So it'll take a while. Maybe go grab a drink and chill. Whilst we're waiting for that to generate, We'll take you down the text to video AI route. This is where that prompt engineering comes into play. So listen up. Ever try talking to an AI? It's like giving directions to a super creative but slightly clueless friend. You gotta be specific, lay out exactly what you want, how you want it, the whole shebang. Like telling your buddy to grab a beer. You wouldn't just say, get me a drink, right? You'd specify the type, brand, bottle, or can, and maybe you want it ice cold. Of course you do. Prompts are critical in guiding the AI in creating the specific content to match your vision. The more detail you provide and the clearer you are, the better the AI understands what you want. So, how do you write a killer prompt? First things first, be specific. Clearly describe the main subject, the setting, and any key elements you want in your final output. Don't just say cityscape, say dystopian cityscape at night with stray dogs wandering around and dark clouds in the sky. Next up, add some details. Those little details can really make or break your video. Instead of just saying city, tell the AI the city is covered in trash with broken cars and a sky that's a mix of blue and black. Don't forget about the mood or atmosphere you wanna create. Is it eerie, menacing, or something else entirely? And please, keep it simple. No need for fancy jargon, just plain and simple language. If you want the camera to move in a specific way, say so. Tell the AI if you want slow motion, a fast paced tracking shot or something else. And don't be afraid to get specific about the action. A man in a long black coat carrying a parcel walks down a dark alleyway as the wind swirls trash around him. See, that paints a pretty clear picture. The same goes for the characters. 
Instead of just saying man, say, Asian man wearing sunglasses and a dark green suit. And hey, if there's something you definitely don't want to see in your video, just say so. Most AI tools are pretty good at understanding those negative prompts, or things you do not want to appear in your final output. We always like to include things like, do not include distortion or disfigurement. This increases the chances of the final output looking clean and without too much morphing or decoherence. Do bear in mind though, all these new AI tools have their limitations. And in fairness to Luma AI, they're happy to share those with you, so credit where it's due. They've openly stated that their model still has some issues with text, as many others do, and morphing is always going to be an issue for now. Anyway, here's an example of a great, simple prompt. Crane shot of a tall man dressed all in black walking down an empty street. And now another example, but with far more detail. The camera is positioned over the shoulder, in a wide shot from the point of view of a woman walking alone through a dark and empty street. The camera captures the road ahead in the empty office buildings. There's nobody else around except a stray dog ahead. The POV shot gives the audience an immersive experience of the woman's walk, emphasizing the eerie nature of the scene. So let's try that out. Whilst it's working its magic, we'll take you back to our image to video AI clip from earlier. Look how far we've come since those early Will Smith eating spaghetti days. It's truly incredible what these top AI tools are delivering right now. And now for that shot extension hack using the final frame method. All right, folks, so you've just uploaded your first image and you're probably wondering what's next. Well, look no further than that shiny new button that just popped up to the right of your photo. You can't miss it. It's got a plus sign and some text that says in frame optional. Click on that bad boy and upload another image. The second image will be your end frame, the final destination of your visual journey. Now, Here's where the magic starts to happen. You'll see a text box below your two image frames. This is your chance to tell Dream Machine what you want to happen during the transition. Want to see some crazy transformations, color changes, maybe even some mind-bending movement? Go ahead, type it in. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even leave it blank and let Dream Machine work its magic. Once you're happy with your instructions, hit that white arrow button and let the machine do its thing. Dream Machine will start working its magic, interpolating between your start and end frames to create a smooth and seamless transition. And once it's done cooking up your video, you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the final result. But don't stop there. Experiment with different images and prompts to see what kind of crazy creations you can come up with. Provide specific instructions in the text prompt box to guide the interpolation and achieve the desired effect. Keep extending your results to go beyond the last frame. And when extending your video, visualize the sequence of events you want to achieve and think of relevant text-based transitions you can use to maintain the sequence. Let's check out our text to image AI clip. What do you think, team? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to compare Luma Dream Machine with Kling AI, check out this video right here.